are witnessing the beginning of the Atlanta Press Club's Hall of Fame. With this Hall of Fame, we recognize Atlanta area journalists whose life work embodies the best of all that we who do this work hope to accomplish in our work. Journalists who inspire us all and whose impact on the industry will be felt forever. Reporters, editors, publishers. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Turner. Wow. Thank you so much, Phil, for that uh, generous uh, introduction. And thank you all for, for being here. This is a great honor, and I really do, do appreciate it. You know, when I was a little boy, my father sent me to what was then Georgia Military Academy. It's now Woodward Academy down in uh, College Park, I think. And I was 10 years old in the fifth grade, out there in uniform, marching around. And I said, when I grow up, I'm going to move to Atlanta. At that time, my family lived in Savannah. And uh, when I was 23, I finally got here. And I never left, except for a couple of years to escape some taxes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back. Anyway, fellow Atlantans, thank you so much for this honor. And uh, you know, I love this place. And, uh, all the people and good friends that I made here. And I plan to stay here the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Well, I, uh, I am just extraordinarily honored uh, to be in the first class of the Atlanta Press Club Hall of Fame. Uh, the honor is only magnified by those who preceded me this evening. I, to say I'm humble would be a, a gross understatement. So thank you, Atlanta Press Club. Watching the city of Atlanta grow from a, an ambitious southern town into the international megalopolis that we live in today. And I, covering that step by step, piece by piece, putting the mosaic of history together in this amazing city in which we live. It has always been a great job. From my very first day in 1964, to the day I walked off the set, and I'm still reporting occasionally, because it's a great job, and I've never wanted to do anything else. To be honored in this way tonight for doing a job I love is gratifying beyond measure. And it would be my hope that the journalists of today and the journalists of tomorrow will perhaps use the, the examples uh, of those who have stood here before me tonight as guideposts to their job and responsibility in covering the stories of our day and our stories of tomorrow. Thank you so much for this honor. The fellow you saw sitting with Shoeless Joe Jackson is actually me. The one you saw in the later pictures is some other old goat who <laughs> I don't know where he came from. And Ed Baker does not... I appreciate this honor no, no end. You can't imagine how much. And I appreciate the company I'm in. And old Ted Turner has never been a more delightful club owner in the history of baseball. We, we had... <laughs> Look, he didn't know what he was doing half the time, and we knew that. Uh, <laughs> I remember one day we were going to a meeting in which he was uh, announcing that he was firing the manager. So after we were moving along in the afternoon later on, somebody said, well, Ted, if you were going to hire a manager, who would you hire? And he said, I'd hire him. He pointed to the guy he just fired. <laughs> so, Ted, uh, Bobby Cox, it's a true story. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot... <laughs> To say I need to save something for writing because I told you before I'm running thin. But it's been a wonderful evening. It's been wonderful seeing a lot of friends I haven't seen in a long time. That's the best part of it. And it's been wonderful to have my wife Linda here to share it with me. 
Other than that, good night. I'm going to use that old cliche that everybody's heard, and I shouldn't do that in the press club, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> and that is, whenever you see a turtle sitting on a fence post, you know he didn't get there by himself. So we do stand on many shoulders, and we are committed to uh, and thankful for the opportunities that we've had. And we feel like we have brought a special voice to the community, and not just to the African American community, but to the total community. Thank you again very much. We really appreciate this recognition. At the age of 39, Henry Grady did pass away from pneumonia and the rumor was that in a speech he was given again up in the north that he was so impassioned that he removed his hat he removed his coat he caught pneumonia and he passed away and when he returned back to Atlanta our generation never never knew the Henry Grady being honored here tonight but I will tell you what has been passed down through our family and what we can all feel in the room tonight is not only the passion for the South, a passion for the state, but also a passion for the city of Atlanta. Thank you. My interview with Ted. I asked him what he expected the new president of CNN to do. He said, and I quote, I believe precisely. I want CNN to become the best news organization on the planet. And I then said, what else? <laughs> and he said, that's it, pal. <laughs> to me, the news profession is a sacred profession. We have, for the longest time, been the watchdogs of our society for most of our existence, the watchdogs. And amid the chaos of the dramatic change in newspapers and magazines and electronic news, I earnestly hope and I actually pray that quality news services like CNN and the AJC will survive and find new ways to flourish. And I so hope that owners with a commitment to excellence like Ted Turner will be around to save us from the terrible journalistic practices that we recently have witnessed in another media mogul's British news empire. <laughs> I thank you for this recognition. Good night. Thank you, Tom Jones.